All right. right. Barbados Day. Guess it's time to do this. Yeah, like I said, Barbados Day. It's exciting, but it's the first day of the cruise. I had to set an alarm. Uh, I don't usually book super early excursions, but I, I got this missive under my door the other day. Shore excursion notice. It's going to start earlier. Got to be on the pier at 8.30. I like to be early, so I have to be early for the early. So I'm going to try to get down the pier around 8 or 8.05, something like that. I'm not super hungry. I don't think I'll do breakfast, but I need some caffeine. Uh, cabin's pretty straight. The, this... This behind me is crazy. Excitingly, my laundry came back. And then uh, also excitingly, the loving crew here decided I needed a towel animal menagerie. Um, it's sweet. It's sweet. It's fun. I enjoy it when the cruise line plays along with the gag. So, uh, yeah, these towel animals. Look, I think maybe they caused me to have nightmares. Look how uh, violently slept in this bed looks. I must have been tossing and turning all night, but uh, let's see if we're still moving or if we've docked yet. Let's throw open the day. You ready? Oh, yeah. We're here. This is Barbados. I don't know that I'm familiar with it. This could be my first time here. I need to look. Look at this. This does seem familiar, though. Maybe I was here a couple years ago with Don. All right, I guess I have to do the final preparations to excurt. Maybe a coffee or a soda downstairs and uh, head to Barbados. Come with me. Here we go. Just applied the uh, sunscreen. It's so white. I, I feel like Baron Harkonnen from Dune. I'd like better safe than sorry, but. All right, we're clear. Time to get downstairs. I'm gonna grab a quick soda. This Red Frog Rum Bar opens early, so should be able to get it there. Success. Look who's stalking us today. The Norwegian sky continues to be our uh, our party mate, our Caribbean pal, joining us in Barbados. Time to get caffeinated. I mean, I'm, I'm a Coke guy, but in a pinch. Yeah, time to get caffeinated and then we skirt. Getting off the ship? Well, yes, I am. Here we go. This is a really nice and colorful way to meet you on what looks like a little bit of a walk. Carnival Pride. Beautiful down here. So I'm still a half hour early for my excursion, but again, I'd rather be prepared and early than uh, stressing it and late. Oh, and for all of you ship spotting nerds out there, which I include myself to be one of them, beautiful shot of the Carnival Pride and her traveling companion for this cruise, the Norwegian Sky. And a less crowded Barbados sign. I think we have a, I think we got a chance to get a picture. Look at this, everybody. They've made a sign just for the Carnival Pride. Now this looks beautiful. All right, I gotta go in this terminal, figure out where my excursion is. Get this day going. I could take pictures all day. All right. Pretty nice looking terminal here. It tours this way, so looks like you have some sort of shopping. I just want to make sure that all the carnival tours are this way. Look at this. We have a red dot path for the ship excursions. Follow the red dots. Couldn't have been yellow. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the follow. The. Oh, it's so early. I'm punch drunk, but I'm waiting for that caffeine to kick in. Oh, yeah, so this is a big thing. Green dots for general exit, red dots for ship tours. What's happening, Captain? You think at the Pandora store they get freaked out every time they open a box for a new shipment? This is a pretty, like, 
When we come back, I'm sure this is going to be hopping. And in a shocking revelation, there's a Diamonds International here. Look at this. All right, pre-booked tours only. Here we go. All right, here's the uh, ticket for the day. Here's where we go. Hey, I'm all banded up. Just waiting, uh, waiting for our bus. So on another nice air conditioned bus, our first stop's the Harrison Cave, I believe. I don't know, they'll tell us when we get going, but uh, yeah, this is a beautiful day. Really a lucky run, a beautiful day. So can't wait to see what this day holds. Good morning to all, yeah? Good morning. Yes, you know my name already, Wayne, yeah? Hey, Wayne. Yeah? Yeah. So you know Wayne's world in Barbados. <laughs> when she was uh, discovered as a singer, that's where she was living. She, she grew up on, yeah? Oh, that was uh, Rihanna Drive, named after the pop singer Rihanna. As I said, along with all the other disciplines, yeah. Beautiful day. Not too easy. You totally see a ship on the right? Yeah, nice view from Bridge Tower from right here. We're gonna be for the next three and a half hours, and we'll do the cave and the aviary and the rum tasting. Harrison's cave. He was first mentioned in historical documents from as far back as 1795. Okay, that was certainly cool. The tour starts off with a very inspiring uh, mini documentary about Barbados. We are here at Harrison's Cave, so now we're making our way to an elevator. I think we're going to eventually end up underground. In Georgia, Look how beautiful this place is. Ropes course. Nice. Last chance. If not, you're going this side. So here you go. Good morning. This is for the top of your head. You receive a helmet. Perfect. All right, so we have to wear a helmet, so we've been given a uh, thing for a head for the helmet, so let's put this on. Pretty cool. All right, so another really well done movie to explain to us the formation of Harrison's Cave. Now it looks like we're finally getting ready to embark the cave. The cool thing is it's on tram, so we're gonna get our hard hat and uh, I think we're gonna board like it. It feels like Jurassic Park in here. It's pretty cool. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Here we go. Hello, everyone. This is the Boston. The Boston was excavated by Mr. Noah Boyce. Here's the 955 Caterpillar to do the job. And the reason why the tunnel was named after him is because of his bravery. A lot of persons would have refused the job before him, but he got the job done, and thanks to him, myself, and Andre, are here with you today. We love what we do. Isn't that right, Andre? Yes, man. The temperature here is 27 Celsius, which is about 78 Fahrenheit. The humidity is between 96 to 100%. 
so you're gonna be hot here. But you know, since this is a PG tour, I want all of you to please keep on your clothes. Okay, everyone, welcome to the Great Hall. 100 feet of height and 150 feet of width. The formations above are called stalactites, while the ones below are called stalagmites. Now, I want you guys to imagine yourself several thousands of years ago, when on the surface there was no COVID-19 and no high gas prices. Just rainforests and water going through the soil and through the porcelain stone, leaving the small layers of calcite mineral, which go the formation at a rate which is less than the thickness of a sheet of paper each and every year. Can you imagine this? If you don't imagine it, we may have to stay here until you do. So can you imagine it now? Okay, then. This one is a drapery. And I like the floor stone which goes I want everybody to look to your left. You see this little formation? It's called a village. Okay? It's called a village because it is central several of the people within the community. Now, these formations are about 7,000 years of age. Okay, so they're actually quite young where we sometimes do weddings and for the shoot. This dome is called the road tender. And on the inside of this dome, there's two types of water. Water coming directly from the surface, as well as water that's filtered by the stone, which means some is clean and some not so much. So I'm gonna ask Josh to guess which one is clean and which one is dirty. And if you guess correctly, Josh, you'll earn the satisfaction of having guessed correctly. I will give you a clue, Josh. I will give you a clue to be fair. The faster the water that's in the cave, the less clean it is. That's your clue. So remember, if it comes flat, it's not clean. Yeah? You remember the clue? All right, Josh, are you ready? All right, we're gonna quiz you just now. You see this right here? This, is this clean, Josh, or dirty? It's dirty, that's correct, Josh, well done. Because it comes directly from the surface at a great speed, it doesn't get, doesn't get much filtration. But what about this one, Josh? This one is clean, because this one is filled with the limestone. It's going to make the five days of filtration, because it's in the right? So this one is very clean. This place is just spectacular. We're in this huge domed rotunda, kind of at the heart of Harrison Cave. Wow. You see, this is Mill Lake, it's two to four feet of shallow water, right? But underneath, there's about nine feet of silt and mud which behaves similarly to quicksand. So this is where you push, but I'm not greedy. I only want 20% of his life and trust the rest is yours. <laughs> well, please be seated, my friend. Honest, he's a keeper. Is he a keeper? Uh, Andrew, I'm so sorry that there will be no sacrifices today. We keep getting keepers. So it's very cool. Second largest opening in the cave with an active waterfall, and you can go touch it. Uh, yeah, very cool. Welcome to the Thanks. That's pretty cool. I think we spent, I don't know, 30 or 40 minutes underground and uh, saw a lot of cool old cave stuff, stalagmites and stalactites. Uh, but now, on to the rum tour, I think, rum tasting. Actually, it looks like we're going to do the Avery first, then we're going to do the rum. Palm tree. 
chicken <laughs> So here's some of the birds that are in the aviary here. He did say that the macaw's not here and possibly the sparrows. Let's go see what we can see. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Pretty cool, nice uh, little collection of birds in there, and uh, you can get pretty close, get some great pictures. All right, so we've done everything that we can do on the lower level. Uh, there's a lot more, like ropes course and zip lining. That's not a part of this tour, but uh, now we're going to take the elevators back up and go to the rum tasting. Want a good zip line for the same The birthplace of rum. We are proud to be the world's oldest running rum distillery, and with 300 years of distilling rum, you can say we know how to make history. All right, so this is the silver, the eclipse, and the black. Let's try it. Let's give it a gentle stroke. Mm -hmm. This towel is here. Put it on the chest, just in case you get winter coffee. Right? So, what you need to do now is take another sip. Yes. It's next. Okay. Those are legs. You ask these legs are thicker. And slower than that of the eclipse. Try it. Take a sip. Try it away, my brother. Rum cake. Thanks, Gabriel. Appreciate it. Thanks. Rum tasting was the last part of this tour. There is a little bar here where you can get cocktails and they're going to give you a sample of rum punch. I've had enough rum, so I'm not going to go for the rum punch, but uh, yes, yeah, pretty pretty great tour. Of course, I've got more to say about it. Let's look at the gift shop. What is rum? Uh, some would say delicious, but the actual answer is this sugarcane molasses. Not to be confused with the back end of moles. It's a different thing different thing. Take a look at the gift shop here. Mm. 
I got some clothes, plushies, some jewelry, books. Of course, they have a selection of rum that you can buy. It's like some hot sauces, snacky snacks, more hats, drinks. I do love the flag for Barbados with the Triton. All right, we still got about 40 minutes. They do have restrooms here, so a quick uh, bio break. Probably grab some stuff in the gift shop and then we'll continue on with the tour. Oh, souvenirs. Stay tuned for the reveal. This really was a cool excursion. You know, the excursion was listed as Harrison Cave and uh, Avery and a rum tasting, and it wasn't clear that it was all in one place, so. This is really a nice one-stop shop to get some of this sightseeing in and the facilities are beautiful. So if you're looking for, I would say Barbados in an easy way, uh, this is it. Uh, right now we're just about a half an hour bus trip back to the, back to the ship. So easy peasy. And away we go. Cool, and here we are right back where we began. It does look like there's some restaurants and shops that we haven't seen yet here at the terminal, so uh, let's explore. The Coconuts Bar and Grill. It's an interesting thing, yeah, I've never seen any anywhere serving flying fish before. Flying fish tacos. That's a that's a local delicacy. We got drinks. Of course jerk chicken, which you're making me crazy. Churro stand. Snow cones. It's like a variety of gift shops here. Of course, you got the coconuts. All right, I, I gotta get. I gotta get something. I gotta get something. Well, that's disappointing. The kitchen's on a break, so no food out of uh, coconuts for 15 or 20 minutes. Let's go inside and see if there's uh, if there's any other food options. I was really wanting to try the flying fish taco. All right, up oh, to, so, well, just tour, I guess, with no lunch. Get lunch on the ship. Diamonds International, of course. Get the Bridgetown duty-free. like a lot of little stuff in the middle here bits and pieces of Barbados Piranha Joe Ooh. popcorn caramel corn sweet corn that is my kryptonite hmm Got a tourist desk here, information desk. Let's go see what's over on this side. Oh, I'm gonna have to get some of this popcorn. More souvenirs. I can pop in, check it out. See what the offerings are. Nice. I do like this. Yeah. 
vitamins, a water easily breathe from 30 to 35 kilometers material is an hour. For the scene, for the it's Barbados branded stuff. We have uh, the island shop. Looks like we have a little bit of an ice cream and coffee shop here. Bridgetown duty free. Looks like alcohol and cigarettes. More clothing. Key chocolatier. This looks interesting. Just the whole vibe of that shop. Love, love, love it. Some good candies. This is a really big cruise terminal, honestly. Another duty free liquor shop. Caribbean kids. Of course you got the Dale's Soul. I do just want to point out that a lot of these shops here again are if we're on Princess you can use the Princess medallion which is cool. Duty free. Got a convenience store here too. Yeah, this is nice from snacks to drinks to medicines and shampoos get the full uh, full offering full offering hmm look at this Norwegian sky again and the carnival pride got a military vessel out there in the distance I guess if there's a theme for today's adventure, it's uh, Easy Barbados, or Barbados on Easy Mode. This could not have been simpler. Beautiful excursion where you got to experience a lot of different stuff, the caves, the aviary, the rum tasting, and then the cruise terminal here. I mean, you could almost, if you just want to pop off and souvenir shop, you could do that. And so, uh, sometimes it's easy. Sometimes it's hard, but uh, this was definitely easy. Now I do have to reveal the souvenir that I picked up at Harrison Cave. Uh, we're gonna get back on a cruise ship and I'll do that. And just to be fair, the beginning and the end of it does include a bit of a walk, so uh, keep that in mind. Know yourself, know your mobility, but not too bad. Of course, the menagerie grows. Look how creative this towel animal is. They're trying to get me to like towel animals on this one, but uh, yeah. Look guys, you got a new friend. Oh great, we got a new friend. The long neck, robe wearing. Nah, this looks like a cool towel animal. So I guess if I'm being honest, they're starting to grow on me, but let's not get too crazy. I mean, this is a lot. This is a lot of towel animals, but uh, look, we got the souves and uh, some final commentary. Plus I made a decision on how I'm gonna get home. So uh, yeah, let's move it to the desk. So I have to complete this debarkation questionnaire by today, 8 p.m. And I will be choosing no transfer required. Will make my own arrangements upon arrival in Norfolk. I uh, I couldn't find a rental car. Everything was sold out. So I booked myself a flight home next Sunday, the 21st. Got to fly from Norfolk to Atlanta and then ATL down to Tampa. And uh, the lovely Jenny B will pick me up. So uh, I have to come up with another interesting Lego idea but no car was available. No car available. That's a bummer, but I'm glad to get home. A lot of cool stuff going on at home. All right, here's the bag of goodies. Look, two things hit me. 
I've been thinking, you know, I need to upgrade my hat. Everybody was saying, you gotta upgrade the hat. So I got a hat with a little, you know, gilly hat. Is that what they call it or something? I don't know. But uh, I have one of these hats and it molded. That's what I used to wear. But I really like the flag for Barbados. I love the trident. Of course, the blue and the yellow. Uh, I'm, you know, it'd be cool if it was just a flag, but I'm more of an icon kind of person. They call me an icon. No, I'm just kidding. I, I like iconography, I would say, more than typography. But now we got a mix of both in this hat there. And then I just got a magnet. I don't think I have a magnet for Barbados. And so, you know, I, yeah, I'm too picky, right? I feel like that should be in black also. But a magnet. And then I didn't show you guys. I did pick up a Curacao magnet. Barbados and Curacao. That's nice. Oh, look at this big duck. Just a shout out to David and his wife. They're hiding ducks in honor of their daughter who had uh, passed away. And they gave me this big duck to take and put on the Lalita Loca shelves at home. So a uh, beautiful way to honor their daughter. And uh, I'm happy to help them honor her by taking this home and putting it on the shelf. Easy Barbados. I guess the only real disappointment was the fact that the kitchen closed down. I probably could have waited the 15 or 20 minutes. Uh, honestly though, I've been a lot more active than normal. So I'm a little, I was ready to get back on the ship. So as much my fault as theirs for not wanting to wait the 15 minutes, but they have flying fish in a bunch of forms, which I've never seen flying fish anywhere. It's a delicacy, I think here in Barbados, but they also had Jamaican uh, tasty patties, which I didn't get to try that in Jamaica this time. So I was going to get some of that, some of this, some of that. But overall, really great tour through the cruise ship, the Harrison Caverns, the rum tasting, the aviary. I would highly recommend it. Have you ever been to Barbados? What do you tend to do when you're in Barbados? Beautiful beaches out there. Of course, horses is a big part of the culture. Cricket, a big part of the culture here. So lots to do. Always more to do than you can do when you're on the islands. But uh, yeah, great day in Barbados. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you want to stay up to date with all my adventures and everything going on in cruising, just uh, subscribe. It's that easy. Subscribe, notification bell, and uh, you'll get notified for the next adventure. Thanks so much for checking out the show today. Tony for La Lida Loca. Till the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.